And then there's Kota Ibushi, who wrestled Naomichi Marafuji at the Pro Wrestling Noah New Year show in a 33-minute match that was one of the saddest things I've seen in a very long time. Uh, I have not seen the full 33 minutes, but I saw several minutes of highlights. I don't even know if that's really the right word to use to describe what I saw. Uh, But it was more than just a couple of minutes of the match. One week before this match, Ibushi claimed to have a broken ankle and a broken right hand. And if we take him at his word and that he wasn't just exaggerating... A broken ankle and a broken right hand. So he had no business being in the ring to begin with if he had a broken ankle and a broken right hand. Now guys have wrestled with broken hands before. But a broken ankle, especially for someone who likes to leave his feet and do moonsaults, is a very bad idea. To everyone not named Kota Ibushi. He did a moonsault to the floor during the match and in doing so he injured both of his ankles. And he looked even worse as the match went on. Until he won. 33 minutes in, he won with a Kamigoye. And then he slowly collapsed on top of Marafuji and pinned him. After the match, they sent Kaito Kiyomiya and Jake Lee out to the ring. Lee bowed to Ibushi. And then he put his hand out and he motioned for him to leave the ring. Because he wouldn't leave. Or maybe he couldn't leave. And when he got to the back... Ibushi was in so much pain, he couldn't even do any post-match interviews, so they called an ambulance for him, and they took him to the hospital. And on Friday, Ibushi tweeted, and, and this is translated now, but this is what he tweeted. I was scammed by a place called C5 Clinic, which is spread all over the country, as I mentioned before. Take care of yourself, please. I think Noah will release information about my surgery, fractures, and dislocations, etc., I'm sorry for the game, everyone. It's all my fault. And then he tweeted again on Friday night, Sorry for the late contact. I'm sure Noah will give you more details, but I would like to inform you that the inside of my left ankle was quite a mess, so I decided to have surgery on the right ligament. I think there will be a release soon. I'm really, really sorry. Noah then posted on their their own page a statement the following day that reads as follows, It's titled, Kota Ibushi's Recent Diagnostic Results. Kota Ibushi, who sustained an injury at Pro Wrestling Noah's Ariaki Arena event on January 2nd, has been diagnosed with a right tibiofibular ligament tear and a right ankle lateral ligament complex injury as a result of a more thorough examination than his initial diagnosis. Ibushi is scheduled to undergo another detailed examination of his left leg and to concentrate on treatment. We will inform you of his progress as soon as we know more. We apologize for any inconvenience and concern this may cause our fans and other concerned parties as we ask for their cooperation and understanding in light of the situation. Thank you very much. Didn't say anything about surgery in there. It just said that he will have another examination and then they will, I guess, decide on treatment. I looked up this C5 clinic that he mentioned There's a website for it. If it's the one that he's referring to, there's a website for it that says they provide human adipose-derived stem cell treatment for regenerative medicine, which would seem to indicate that he underwent some type of stem cell treatment to try to avoid having surgery. Now, he calls it a scam. I don't know how. He didn't explain. It could be that he tried an alternative treatment and it didn't work. Or maybe they did deceive him in some way. We we don't know. This this all could have been avoided if he would have just had surgery from day one. This is not the same Kota Ibushi that we saw in his last New Japan match against Okada. When he hurt his shoulder on the Phoenix Splash, he crashed and burned. And they had to call the finals off of the G1. He never had surgery to repair it. He wanted to rehab it and avoid surgery, and he has not been the same since. He would give these updates online, and, you know, months had gone by, and you would think, okay, Ibushi's on the road to recovery, and he'll be back soon. And by that point, he should have been well on the road to recovery, and instead he would post these updates and say, oh, my shoulder is getting worse, and he has no strength in his arm. And it's like, dude, just get the surgery. But he never did. And when he finally came back, 
he was not the same. Tony Khan signed him and brought him in last year for blood and guts. He didn't look great, but you could chalk it up maybe to ring rust. He had worked two matches in two years by that point. He looked a little bit better, I thought, at all in, in the tag match that he did. But Tony Khan has avoided using him in singles matches, and now he he should not be back in the ring at all until he gets these injuries addressed. You know, I know he's been freelancing, and I, I don't know what his financial situation is, but he did sign a contract with AEW. And I'm sure that if he had to take an extended break to heal himself, he would be taken care of. He should not feel like he has to get back in the ring. He may want to get back in the ring, but someone needs to step in here and be a friend and say, no, you can't do this. You need to take care of yourself. Because this man is his own worst enemy. He's apologizing. He's saying, oh, it's all my fault. He's he's blaming himself. I want to sit the man down and say to him, you don't have to apologize. Just get better. And if he can do that when he's ready to come back, whether it's six months, a year, year and a half from now, people will want to see the Kota Ibushi comeback story. But the ring is the last place that he should be right now. Even before this, he was hurt. He admitted that he's been working hurt. He's been working through all sorts of injuries. That's an old wrestling mindset that needs to die. And I'd rather it die than him die in the ring going out there and killing himself for people's entertainment. There is nothing entertaining about watching Kota Ibushi in the state that he's in. 